So we're given a system of equations that we want to find out where these two lines are going to intersect using the elimination method, also involving multiplication. So what we want to do when we do the elimination method is we want to be able to add these equations together so that either the x variables cancel out or the y variables cancel out. And so in order to do that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to multiply actually both of these equations. And what I do is I either look at the y's or the x's. Let's look at the y's. See, if we look at the y's, we say to ourselves, what's the smallest number that 2 and 7 both go into? What's the lowest common multiple? Well, that's going to be 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this top equation by 7. That would make this negative 14y. I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by 2. That's going to make this positive 14y. This way, when we go to add the two equations together, the y's are going to cancel. So let's go ahead and write the result of that. So when we multiply by 7, I'm just distributing 7 to the left and right sides of this equation. That's going to give us 35x minus 14y uh, equals 63. Now, it doesn't matter if you eliminate the y's or the x's. Just um, pick one and stick with that. Now, when we distribute the 2 here, you can see we're getting 4x plus 14y equals negative uh, 24. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add straight down. That's going to give us 39x. The y's are actually going to cancel. And then this is equal to, uh, let's see, that's 39. So if we divide both sides by 39, you can see that x is equal to 1. OK, now if we take the 1 and we can put it back into either equation, I'm going to put it into the bottom one. So that's going to be 2 times 1 plus 7y equals negative 12. So this comes out to 2 plus 7y equals negative 12. Subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. That gives us 7y equals negative 14. Divide both sides by 7. And you can see that y equals negative 2. Now you want to write your final answer as a coordinate pair like this. And this just represents where these two lines are crossing or intersecting. Click on the playlist that I put right there to learn more about solving systems of equations, whether it's substitution, elimination, whether it's three variables, three equations, Kramer's rule, graphing, etc. I've got all those videos right there in that playlist. I'll see you over in, the, in those videos.